Well, hey, today, nonprofit Brown Hope is celebrating its one year anniversary of the Black Resilience Fund. The fund supports black Portlanders, helping them survive during the pandemic and the ongoing effects of racism. Yeah, now they're launching a new $1 million fundraising campaign. And joining us live to talk about it is the founder and CEO of Brown Hope, Cameron Witten. Good to see you again, Cameron. Jenny, Emily, good morning, and thank you so much for having me here today. Yeah, always good to talk with you. So tell us about the, the Black Resilience Fund and why you chose to start it. Thank you. A uh, Black Resilience Fund is a uh, effort born right here in Portland to foster healing and resilience in our community by providing direct and immediate financial assistance to Black Portlanders. Uh, we launched today, one year ago, in the aftermath to George Floyd's murder as a way for us to build community and foster healing for Black Portlanders who are dealing with the shockwaves of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and systemic racism. Yeah, and we've done a lot in the past year, raising $2.5 million to provide real tangible support for Black Portlanders, and we know we're not done. So we're out here today announcing a launch of a new $1 million campaign to provide real support for Black Portlanders who need that support right now. Yeah, I think it's just crazy to think back a year ago today where we were and uh, we, we saw this community outpouring of support here. What are some of the things that that $2.5 million has done over the past year as, as you look ahead to more fundraising? Where is that money going right now? Yeah, this, this community has really demonstrated that hope is possible. We've provided tangible relief to over 7,000 Black Portlanders, and we've heard a lot from folks about this funding coming in when it was needed, helping to provide ease of mind and relief, whether that has been with help with rent assistance, whether it's been help with groceries, utility bills. Uh, so many people have been able to lean on this community in a really intense time of need. Yeah, I, I follow you on, on Instagram, Cameron, and I think I've seen the pictures of you guys making some of those food deliveries and just yeah. uh, helping so many people. How can other people get involved? I mean, is it, is it monetary donations you need the most or, or how can people help? This is a village and that's been the most beautiful thing about Black Resilience Fund since day one. It has been a project of Portlanders. We have had over 18,000 individuals donate to the Black Resilience Fund in the past year. We've also been volunteer led since day one. Hundreds of volunteers have made this work happen. You can go to our website, blackresiliencefund.com. We've actually highlighted all the different teams, eight different volunteer led teams who help make this work happen. From folks who help with fundraising to folks who help with delivering food boxes. This is a collaborative community driven effort. We encourage anyone to go to our website, blackresiliencefund.com, donate, sign up to volunteer, help us to continue fostering the healing that our community needs. Yeah, and for people who uh, may be feeling like they still need a little help, how do they get in contact with the fund if they're looking for help? Yes, today we have reopened our 2021 application period. Anyone who is seeking funds, please go to our website, blackresiliencefund.com, uh, go to the apply for funds section and please submit an application. All okay. right. Cameron Witten, always good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us and good luck with all this. It sounds like you guys are just helping so many people. Thank you for raising awareness. Have a wonderful day. Yeah, you, you too. too. And of course, if you're interested in making a donation to the Black Resilience Fund, we'll post a link on coin.com. Again, those funds go directly to Black Portlanders who need it the most.